Since this was my first motor, there's still a lot of room for optimization. Ultimately, the motor will be heavier and less powerful than it could be, but for now, it was more of a practice run to perfect all the building steps and whatnot. I got way too much of this stuff, but it's a good deal in bulk and excuse to make larger motors in the future. The oxidizer particle size plays a large role in the burn rate of sugar fuels. I ended up not using the screen this time to sift the dry ingredients, but the potassium nitrate was about the size of table salt. Although there was a bit of rust in this thing, it cranks, turning this ammonium nitrate into a flower in no time. Got this bootleg tumbler. Important to get everything thoroughly mixed. Bring this induction stovetop works well, no hot spots, but it needs a 3.5 heat setting. Uh, the aim about 260 degrees Fahrenheit was just a little too high of four. Ooh! <laughs> it explodes. <laughs> That's not an igniter. <laughs> that was dumb. Hmm. Not sure what these deposits were, but it was thick. These weird bulges were maybe from the wrapping paper. Steel wool did a great job as a filter. The nozzle cleaned up pretty well with the wire brush. Oh, yeah, it's coming. Inhibited motor. Time to assemble. I just noticed we've had some issues. The coring rod did not go straight through. See this little hole here? It actually went off to the side. It's pretty much dead on 13 inches and we're weighing in at 418.2 grams. We're out here set up. It's uh, not vertical this time, horizontal, because there's a good chance we shear the nozzle. And that's a lot of uh, metal going up in the air. Uh, it should shear at about 1800 PSI, 2000. Given the grain and all the like, inconsistencies, we'll probably hit that. Got the run down, just tilting on the side, leaning against the building here on the um, bag of bed, you know, raised bed soil. That way, if the nozzle blows, hopefully it's caught in this uh, kind of shit here. Yeah, and if it blows the other way, uh, that still is pretty thick, so I think it's okay. Okay. That's good. Well, these wires are coming down. Darn. Everything's gonna be tight in there. Neat. No more pulling out. I was being a dumbass here. The fuel grain was loaded incorrectly, so the clogged core was on the side of the nozzle. This made it when I inserted the igniter, it was just getting scrunched up in the convergence section of the nozzle. So when it was lit, it was just an end burner. It never reached operating pressure. Um, at this point, it's just a big smoke machine. At the very end, you get a little bit of pressure buildup, but uh, I should have been more patient, switch things around. 